Good evening, folks. Welcome. I'm Alien Addict. Um, a massive thank you to you all for some of the great comments that you've put in the last few videos. Um, I've got to know a few of the new subscribers, which is great. This is what I'm here for. I, I love this community. Um, I want to start off this video. I am really, really interested. I'm going to put my email here. Um, I'm wanting footage, real footage. Don't send me any shit. Um, you might not think it's shit, if, and if you don't think it's shit, then that's fair enough. Um, but I want legit stuff, uh, legit stories, anything you can send me, send it over to that email address. Or um, if you if you don't do email, I'm not great at responding to emails, to be honest with you. Send it to my Twitter, um, which is kind of a fast response because I see the notification. What I want to try and achieve um, with this video is to get to know some other UFO channels. Um, so if you are a UFOlogist, UFO channel, just somebody that puts shite out like me and speaks about it, then let me know in the comments below who you are, what channel, what you're into, uh, so I can go and check you out basically. I just, I kind of want to get this community going. I don't really know where my channel's going and what type of thing I'm going to put out. It's kind of like just me talking to you, just being open and honest, telling you who's bullshit is out there, who's a dickhead, you know, that kind of thing. And also telling you that there's some good people out there. Um, so, speaking of um, truth and what's out there, back in October we had that big thing with Tom DeLong and the footage coming out and I keep banging this bastard here the footage coming out what I want to know is what's what else are we going to get Tom this is this video is kind of like, like directly for you you probably will never see it I hope you do so guys share this out um, I want to know what you're doing what are your investors getting for the money um, I would like to know that personally because I'm kind of I've looked at what you're advertising what you you say that you're gonna deliver on and you have actually delivered on some of the footage I, I have to say um, but the main thing that intrigues me is this warp drive craft that you're talking about and the question that I ask here is, if you can do this, and you have this sort of, you, you, you have the, the idea, the technology in principle, but you need the money to invest in it, how come Elon Musk is not doing something like this? How come NASA's not doing something like this? Or maybe the answer there is that NASA already has that we already have this technology but it's been hidden from us and you're saying that you're going to deliver this technology if we invest our money in your company. One of my subscribers, Osvaldo Franco, um, awesome bloke by the way, he sends me stuff constantly on Tom DeLong and to the Stars Academy, anything that's really good news and everything that he's given me has been brilliant. Um, so, mate, thanks for sending me this link to Tom's Instagram. Uh, I've just followed Tom on Instagram. I don't know why I haven't followed him before, but... So, this most recent one is, is quite interesting because it, it mentions a bit of everything. Um, I'm not going to actually read it out myself because I'm dyslexic and I'll probably read it like a twat and get ripped to shreds in the comments below so I'm gonna for once let the robot voice take over on this one um, so and we'll call him Robo Tom so have a little listen to this um, and yeah tell me what you think to the Stars Academy of Arts and Science has accomplished so many incredible things since October my team has been steadily briefing multiple committees in Congress some at the classified level and holy cow, major changes coming. Can't say anything else. 
but hopefully more to come soon. TTSA is also in the process of bringing two major motion pictures, two television series, and an unscripted doku series to the world. We are presently negotiating multiple network contracts and up to the legal work. Announcements will be coming soon. More developments. TTSA has initiated the beginnings of a major aerospace partnership and started scope of work proposals for our space-time metric engineering. Yes, the stuff you and I really care about. Another great development. TTSA has been in contact with multiple EU and South American countries over the past months regarding their respective UFO programs and the goal of creating an international information data sharing system and analysis through the proprietary TTSA community of interest and its artificial intelligence analysis initiative. But all these things take time, money and patience. There is nothing that I am doing that is easy. Every single thing here is extremely difficult. So thank you so much for being patient, and understanding what exactly we are trying to achieve here. This is what your investment dollars are being put to use for, and, we definitely need much more to accomplish this revolutionary work. If interested, please consider investing at the Stars Academy Com. Yes, you did hear that last bit right. To the Stars Academy dot com. Um, I'm sure Tyler from Secure Team 10 would have a field day with that. It always intrigues me that he kind of has a lot of love for Dr. Greer, but yet none for Tom DeLong. Um, I think you should have uh, kind of been a bit nicer to Tom, Tyler, to get that interview, because that would have been a good interview. I'd like to see that. Tom, I'll interview your ass, and we'll have a beer. Um, saying that, I'd like to interview Tyler one day. Ah. Maybe we could have a beer. He did comment in the last video. I don't know if anybody noticed that. He actually stuck up for himself and said that the Secure Team 10 research channel is not him. It's somebody that works for him. Which I kind of, I kind of believe that now. You know, I'm thinking of thinking about it's a big channel, a million and a half, over a million and a half now. Yeah. Anyway, back to Tom DeLong. So the main thing that interests me. In this is not the entertainment stuff though I do think it's gonna be great to get some really good entertainment on TV um, that involves aliens and UFOs and stuff I'm well up for that the main thing that I got from that is the space time matrix engineering so that, that sounds like it's nothing to do with kind of warp drive I'm, I don't know I don't understand the whole physics behind the shit which is why Tom I think you need to the next thing I want to see you do is a video where you can explain how this shit works. Because to simple people like me, it just seems like something out of science fiction. The day we are living in now, I mean, everything is changing. Everything's moving so, so fast. So when people say to me, oh, to the Stars Academy, it's just a big joke. It's you know, it's just all about making money. Everything's about making money. You you can't. People's got to make money. So when you're saying they're frauds, just because they're making money, I don't get the argument because you have to make money to do anything in life. You've got to make money. To do Alien Addict, I've got to make money. I haven't made a dime, really, on Alien Addict, but I work hard in the day, you know? You have to make money to, to succeed. And for a massive project like this, it's got to make money. So I said before, and I'll say it again, why hasn't NASA or SpaceX said anything about this technology but Tom DeLong? He's not as, you know, I, I guarantee that SpaceX and NASA's got a hell of a lot more money than Tom DeLong and his company. Um, but yet they are the ones that are talking about doing this engineering of a space-time engine. you got to ask yourself that question. I, it would be interesting. I, it would be extremely interesting, in fact. I would love to know what Elon Musk thinks of the company to the Stars Academy of Arts and Science. That 
That's a tweet, that is. We should all tweet Elon. Let's do it. Everybody tweet Elon Musk. Say, Mr. Musk, what do you think about Tom DeLong and his company to the Stars Academy of Arts and Science? I kind of think it would. we won't get a response in regards to that, but um, it's... It is interesting, and the mo the two movies, the TV programs, I'm looking forward to them. I will be watching them. Um, I've said it before. I've always been a Blink One Eight Two fan, so you know I, I am I'm rooting for Tom. Um, even though a lot of people have said Stephen Greer being one of them that he's just been used, uh, and he, he's the people he's working with there, you know in it for the wrong reasons let's hope not let's hope that that money that we're spending I say we haven't invested might invest may invest 200 is a lot of money for me um, and for a lot of people uh, the average Joe uh, but I'm, I'm intrigued to see where that money goes so I might take a gamble um, comment below and tell me if you think I'm crazy for taking a gamble on it or comment below actually if you have invested and you know have you got any sort of pack or anything together take a picture of it send me on Twitter for like a thank you for investing I'd, I'd be interested to see what that is I kind of want to I want to invest but there's that part of me that's saying this is just a bit of a a money earner I hope I'm wrong. I really do. Tom, Mr. DeLong, DeLonge, would you like to come on Alien Addict? Would you like me to interview you with a beer? You could come over to England, actually, and we could just go to the pub and just have a few drinks, and then you can just start telling me about the UFOs and the the, the advanced uh, time shift uh, engineering. Um, I think that would be a... You know, we could bring along a... A camera yeah anyway guys get yourself down in the comments tell me what you think about it if you are a UFO channel remember I want to know I want to check your channel out send me some shit if you've got any really good footage I want to see it and I'll if you don't mind I'll put it out like share and subscribe to alien addicts get this video thumbed up and yeah Good night, God bless, and mind the bugs don't bite. We've just picked up a ship on the radar coming in. Should reach us in about two weeks. One life form. Origin.